Hey everybody, Chris Farad here, and welcome to episode 4 of Game of Thrones. Uh, we are about to go on a roller coaster of emotions, if you will, with the final emotion being like... What? Like, I can just feel that coming already. Maybe I'll be wrong. Maybe I won't be. But let's not count our chickens before they hatch, and let's get going. Previously on Game of Thrones. My father is planning to make a move against your family. He knows all your weaknesses, all your plans, because you have a traitor in your council. He's been sending a great deal of gold to someone in King's Landing. We were told we'd be speaking to Lord Tyrion alone. That's enough, Andros. North Grove? That's just some shit story for little kids. I've heard stories. Old tales of a secret forest within a forest. Your lord knew what he was talking about. I'm part of the free folk. People round here call wildlings. My true name is Sarah. Flowers. You're a bastard? It means a lot to be able to share that with someone. Someone I can trust. And if it isn't Elena Glenmore. You're not still marrying into this wretched family. I'm sorry. I'm going to tell Father the betrothal is off. It's a long journey to Marine on foot. Marine? Shit. What? Unfinished business there. I don't want to talk about it. If you presume to speak of my dragons, you best choose your words carefully. Are you going to be a good little forester, learn your lesson, and stay down? You can be Lord, Roderick, so long as we all know who holds the reins here. The foresters need to keep their end of the bargain. Take the boy as your ward. Kill him if they give you any trouble. I never did tell you about your father, did I? We bled him at first. Like a pig. Yeah, uh, 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 that felt good. Not sure we can talk our way to this one, so I'm hoping that he, that guy... Well, I don't know what he's gonna do. I knew you were a killer the day you arrived. So Seems it's Brit out there now too. Yep. Now they all see it. What sort of brother you really are. It wasn't my fault. He attacked me and and we fought and and you threw him clear off the wall. He's going to kill me. You tried to lie about what you did to get here. But we both know you had blood on your hands. But now you've killed one of your brothers. You'll lose your head for this, Tuttle. You'll be disgraced, dishonored, and burned till there's nothing left of you. You won't execute me. With Mance Raider coming, the Night's Watch needs all the men it can get. Honest men. Loyal men. Not brother killers. There's only one thing to be done with you now. Hey, Frostfinger. Yeah, this I is not going well. Did to Brit last night. Oh, back me up. He's gonna do it. He's gonna back me up. I was there. My relief was late, so I stayed behind. I saw everything. Go on, then. Out with it. What happened? Garrett's telling the truth. There we Brit go. attacked him. Just like he said. 
Garrett had no choice but to fight back. There isn't a man at the wall wouldn't sell his own mother for the right price. You two are up to something. Some deal you worked out. Or he's defending you for... for some reason I can't fathom. That's impossible! Finn can't stand me. Because <laughs> you're a fucking squire who thinks you're better than everyone. Enough! Garrett killed a man of the watch. There's a price to be paid for that. Let's go! Oh. I knew it was a mistake to make you a ranger. Brosfinger! What's to be done with him? We're heading to Crusted. You'll have to find someone else for your expedition. Your man here still has a lot to answer for. Now out of the way, Snow. Give us a moment. Then kiss him quick and be done with it. It's an interesting little Go power on. dynamic between these two. You told me there wouldn't be any trouble with Brit. What happened? I thought you were smarter than that, Garrett. I thought you were going to be by my side at Craster's. But there's no coming back from this. I'm sorry I let you down, John. I didn't mean for it to come to this. You gave me your word, Garrett. It can't have been easy. Facing the man who killed your family. Aye. Is there nothing to be done? Aside from removing Tuttle's head from his shoulders? No. But you're about to go off and execute a nest full of traitors at Craster's. How is this any different? Gods be with you, Garrett. We're down a man, so keep your eyes what? open. Now let's move. You can go begging to your gods all you want, boy. It's the axe has the final say. No way. How many men have stood before me with false tales of my dragons? Desperate men, hoping for wealth, protection. Liars, every one of them. <laughs> and I expect you are no different. You don't want to see what I do to liars. Especially those who seek to waste my time. I don't feel there's any Something good way to respond to that. There will be if he keeps this up. You haven't said a word, Selsword. Oh, shit. Whoa. Are you frightened? I thought you'd seen a dragon before. Your reaction says otherwise. Viseron, it's all right. He's, uh, he's much smaller than the other one. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't like that. Would you like to touch him? Go ahead. Are you sure that's Unless a good idea? Unless you are afraid. Of course, a man who has really faced a dragon before may have reason to be afraid. Go on. Not a good idea, Asher. I'm inclined to agree with her on this one. Gotta build trust. I'm going. <laughs> well, we tried. You're brave, at least. <laughs> I don't think he likes me. You still have a hand, don't you? Yeah, barely. You claim you saw Drogon. Give me a reason to believe you. I told you I've heard this story before. I'm going to need more than that. You're asking for proof. Will that be a problem? I have this. Drogon. How did you get that? What have you done to him? 
We haven't done anything. You've hurt him. Hurt him? He, he attacked us. Drogon wouldn't strike without reason. You must have scared him. He is not some kind of thoughtless beast. He's only a child. Oh, a child who can breathe fire on whoever he likes. I guess we could try to explain harm how we ended up there. Not unless he was attacked. The men who were following us, the Lost Legion, they drew their swords and tried to fight him. And Drogon defended himself. So we somehow deserve to be burnt alive because your little baby was scared. Be careful. Your tongue is dangerously sharp, <laughs> self -sword. Yeah, I'd say so. Why did you come here? You offer me nothing but lies. To what end? You want gold? A title? My undying gratitude? What do you want from me? Asha, Just gonna be honest. My little brother was murdered in front of his family, and our youngest is still held against his will at our enemy's house. What is it you expect me to do? We need to hire an army. An army? If you could spare some of your cell swords, please. If I also came here looking for an army, but what I found were the cries of children and people suffering in chains while their masters profited from their misery. My cell swords will help me free the slaves of Marine. That is their mission. Your need is not greater than theirs. These are people who have suffered for years without end. We both want the same thing here. To liberate Marine, to see you take the Iron Throne. That's what I want too. If you really believe that, you'll understand why I cannot oh, I hate you. that. There must be something I can do to convince you. As we speak, my men prepare to enter Marine. What they are about to do is much bigger than you or I. Bigger than one family back in Westeros. You wouldn't be saying that if so it was your own family. So, unless you think you can storm Marine and free all the slaves yourself? You have nothing more to offer me, Croft. You may leave. But that's but it. Your Grace. See them out. Beska knows the city better than anyone, Your Grace. What the hell, Asher? Is this true? <sighs> yes. I lived in Marine for a time. I don't know why she'd be upset that we city. told her that. I guess she just doesn't like to get involved. Fucking bastard. Yeah. Okay. Yee. So you wish to accompany them? You'd help the Second Sons? Guide them into Marine? I can't, Asha. This could be our only chance. Is that what you're saying? You're really considering this? They could prove valuable. Asha, please. We have to do it. Anything for you. Within reason, of course. <laughs> Very well. You two will join Croft and his men. Get them into the city, help them liberate Marine, and I will see that you are rewarded. But your uncle stays here. If I find you've lied or put my men in danger. I understand. Good. Croft will get you settled in. Now, we're it's a bit reliant be a on Beshka night. because if she decides to go off the handle and misdirect us, then that'll come back on me. I told you I didn't want to go back to Marine. What the hell was that? Look, I'm sorry it happened this way. As long as you get your army, right? Best case. Get your armor patched up in here. Extra bedrolls if you need them. Piss buckets in the corner where it's always fucking been. Oh, she is right pissed. Like, I get it. Long time since we had a piss bucket. I spent two years trying to get where I am now. Don't fuck this up for me, Asher. Nail! We got two more! Hmm. Curse this bloody leg! 
It's not your leg that's a problem, Roderick. Oh, well, certainly You've not helping. Got to be practical. You want to take Griff down next time? You want to stop lying in the mud and letting people walk all over you? You're speaking to your lord, Sir Roylin. He can fight his own battles. You know why he had to stay down. Even so, it set a precedent. Is all this talking supposed to help? You can't just fight through the pain. That was really difficult you trying to, to decide something different. if we wanted to like back down from him or not. Like you used to. So find another advantage. Surprise your opponent. Do something unexpected. Like what? I'll show you. Come at me. Whoa. Bring your opponent down to your level. Yeah, that's nifty. When I attack you, drop down, avoid my blade, and swing at the back of my knees. Wait for me to attack. Uh-huh. Roderick! Yeah, let's give that another go. Let's try it again. Now that's how you do it. <laughs> I think you let me. Oh. Uh oh. <sighs> My lord, sorry to interrupt. Elena. She insisted on seeing you immediately. Lady Elena, I'm sorry to hear we won't be sisters. Talia. Second thoughts? Roderick, can I speak with you? Privately. You remember my little brother? Quiver! Huh. Good gods, you've grown. It's a cool name. You could just call me Arthur now. I hope you don't mind us coming unannounced. But something's happened. I didn't know what else to do. Maybe this was a bad idea. I've missed you, Elena. <laughs> I've missed you too. Truth be told, you're the only one I can turn to. Lord Whitehill paid my father a visit at Rillwater Crossing. He told my father Griff had subdued you and... And that my sister would make a fine reward. As if I'm some token to be handed around. You mean... He demanded I marry his son, Griff. Are you kidding what? me? Lord threatened my family. Told my father if he refused, would be slaughtered along with you. Father acted the damn coward. He agreed, Roderick. I am to marry Griff Whitehill. That arrogant pig eyed prick! I still can't believe Father agreed to it. You can't marry into House Whitehill. We'll end up on opposite sides of a war. Do you think I want to marry that disgusting pig? But my father won't listen. How are we gonna get her out of this? I'm not gonna be the bone they throw that howling dog. I'm not going to be some prize for him to rip open. We have to get rid of him. I can't think of any other way. My father won't see reason. Lord Whitehill's made up <laughs> his mind. I would take out Griff if I could. And so have I. You'd murder a man to prevent your marriage. I know Griff is horrible, but to go that far... You don't know what it's like, Roderick. You get to decide what you want to do and who you want to be. I'm expected to have my life decided for me. You wouldn't have to do it yourself if you didn't want to. We have a way around that. The Scoia'tael. <laughs> oh yeah. Absolutely. You brought your men. I command father's elite guard. These men are trained archers, swordsmen. Experts in both ranged and close combat. They're yours. If you'll help us take down Griff. The whole guard? Twenty men. My father still thinks they're aboard a ship bound for the Reach. What do you have to lose, Roderick? Griff has been a nightmare for you and your house. You can't have any reason to keep him around. This could help both of us. Why till still have my little brother? If I hurt Griff, there's no telling what they'll do to Ryan. 
I understand your worry, Roderick. Thing is, we might not have I a better want chance. I don't hurt any more than you do. I know this might sound mad, but it's the only way. Get rid of Griff, and you'll be free to use the guard however you like. You can finally take control of your house again. Please promise me you'll do this. I love you, Roderick. I don't want Griff. I don't want any of this. Uh, Will you help me? I'll do it if it really is the only way. I'm afraid it is. Frick. Thank you, Roderick. This you is gonna come back to bite us. us for sure. My men are yours to command. Thank you, Quip. Arthur. Could you give us a moment? You don't know how much this means to me. I'm sorry I couldn't marry you before. Maybe when this is all over, we could play hide and seek in the grove again. <laughs> Pretend we're still children. Forget all that's happened these last few years. I'd like that very much, Elena. Then you know where to find me. No, she won't.